Shalamana Suprata Kila Barada Shele Brendes Kili Baradiana Kubrandes Kula Baratia Taya. Heavenly Father, we love you. We thank you. Thank you for such a beautiful Tuesday morning. We are happy and excited. Thank you for your mercy that endures forever. Today, today we look unto you for bread, for manna to eat. We look unto you because it is written, it says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God shall man live by. And that is why we are looking unto you from a word from we are looking unto you for a word from you, a word from the Lord that will change our lives, that will occupy, that we will be transformed and changed even to the will and the purpose for what you have concerning our lives in jesus name thank you god our father in jesus name we pray amen genesis chapter 12 from verse 2 this is a prophetic word this was what god spoke expressly to abraham he said and i will make of thee a great nation and i will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. Amen. This is a prophetic word. I bring to your knowledge that we are children of Abraham. We are the descendants of Abraham. And the blessings of Abraham are our blessings through Christ Jesus. Because the God Almighty appeared to Abraham and assured him of these promises that it shall be to him and to his seeds that are following after him. And that is why we are accepting these blessings and prophetic words that God spoke to Abraham many years ago, many, many years ago, where it's still coming into reality and into existence. And today, I want to all just to plunge in into what God is doing. Look at the blessings. He said, and I will make thee a great nation. He said, I will make of thee a great nation. That is what the Lord God Almighty is speaking to you today. He's going to make of you a great nation. Out of you, nations will come out that will praise God. Out of you, nations will come out that will be blessed. Out of you, nations will come out that will do the will of the Father. Look at what follows. He said, and I will bless thee. This is God speaking expressly to you that he will bless you. You see that thing you are doing, he wants to bless it. He wants to bless the work of your hands. He wants to favor you. He wants to lift you. He wants to exalt you. He wants to announce you. He said, I will bless you. This is the word of the Lord. We are speaking it into our lives and into our ministries and into our families that it will come into reality he said and i will make thy name great your name shall be great your name shall be great you will sit on the table of greatness you will sit on the table of greatness on the table with kings with kings and not mean men with kings and not poor men you will sit on the table of the great your name shall be great when they hear your name they say oh what a great influence what a great what a great one that god has used this one god is going to purify your life this season remember this is december is a December to remember of the goodness and the faithfulness of God. This is a December that your life can never remain the same because the God God Almighty wants to prepare us for the next year, 2023. And that's why he's releasing these blessings upon us so that we'll be marching into confidence. We'll be marching into victory. We'll be marching into joy. We'll be marching into happiness with abundance of blessing in 2023. And this is why we must not relent in grabbing what God has in store for us. Open your mouth. Open your hands. Open your heart to receive what the father is sending to us this season hallelujah he said he wants us to become a blessing to people that is the emphasis he wants us to be a blessing to people god wants you to be a blessing now this is a season of love god wants you to stretch out your hand of love to your friends to people that are around you many people might be looking up to you for you to reach out to them don't relent this season. This is a season of love where you can share. You can share that little token that you have between you and your friend. Or you can visit the poor, visit the homeless, visit those that do not have food to eat. And let the Lord use you as a blessing. Because when you bless those people, you keep rising. You keep, you keep excelling. You keep prospering in the things you do. Because the Bible has given it as a command. He said, when you give, it shall be given unto you. It's a command. 
give and it shall be given unto you. It's a principle of the spirit. Once you obey it, give and it shall be given unto you. You will definitely receive. Praise God. So please, God wants us to be a blessing this season. Reach out to the poor, reach out to the needy. Affect a life, transform a life today. And the Lord God Almighty will cause you to be a blessing to many generations. And you yourself, your name shall be great. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We decree peace and blessings. Let it come upon us. Let it come upon us. As we go out to extend hands of fellowship in this season of love. To put smile on people's faces. Even as we are approaching Christmas in few days time. Lord, I pray help us. That we will do these things without murmuring, without complaining, without grudge in our hearts. We will do this freely and expressly and let the reward come to us mightily in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. From Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless.